In this video we're going to take a look at the new F-15 Strike Eagle, uh, my first impressions of it and yeah, let's go for a flight. Hey everybody, welcome back uh, to the cockpit of this incredible aeroplane, the F-15E Strike Eagle Suite 4. Um, I've been looking forward to this aeroplane for pretty much forever. I live not too far away from Lake and Heath and so I've often uh, just sat in amazement uh, and watched these incredible machines do their thing. Um, I've seen this particular aeroplane uh, myself. Uh, it's an uh, incredible paint scheme uh, to honour. Uh, I believe it's the P-47s that used to fly. Uh, for the squadron, uh, leave me a comment if I've got that wrong. Um, and <laughs> what Razbam have done is just simply breathtaking. You know the attack. So there are some things that uh, definitely need to be looked at. Uh, this is one of them. That is not loud enough. Okay, it screams. Same with the uh, air brake that screams with the hydraulic noise the actuator uh, there's no noise at all that i can that i can pick up um so you know yeah picking that shit out of pepper um the, the aesthetic look of this airplane is beyond amazing you know look at the size of it it's just incredible those massive engines it, it, oh, wow um, the avionics, the systems on board, it's early access, it's like day one of release and already jam-packed. Uh, could there be more weapons? Yes. Will they come? Yes. You know, is the flight model amazing? No. It pitches up like crazy, but you know what? Get over it. It's day one. There will be patches that will come and they'll make it even more amazing. Uh, we put on the virtual pilot, you know. There's some aeroplanes that have been uh, out uh, flying now for, for a long time. They don't even have a virtual pilot. This has got one on day one, you know. Um, look at that, knocks his own legs out of the way. I mean, it's just incredible. And you've got the dude in the back. Yeah, it's, it's breathtaking. I just wanted to because obviously you can see your reflection and you can raise or lower your visor okay it doesn't doesn't do anything on the visual model um let's take it for a quick spin so i'm going to take the brakes off hold it on the tow brakes full military power engine stable full burners brakes off sv building And keep it down the center line. Rotate, gear up, flaps up, level the nose down. So you'll sometimes see this on a Friday at Lake and Heath. They'll get to you know a certain speed and then unrestricted climb out <laughs> it's just incredible I'm quite heavy with fuel so I'm not going to get very high bring it down before I kill myself bungee driver here um, there's a there's a, obviously a lot of key presses in this aeroplane uh, that you have to uh, t assign to your HOTAS. I'm quite fortunate that I have, um, you know, a good HOTAS system. Um, so I've got lots of buttons to play with. It's not a wing-wing where obviously you've got considerably more, but um, you do need something like that. You know, if you, if you haven't got that, you, you're really going to struggle unless you can remember all the keys on the keyboard. The air to air um, radar, I'm not not fully comfortable with yet uh, teapod i can do that um what is it people keep saying um uh putting rounds on foreheads 
Um, I can do that uh, with bombs. Uh, this was one of the main reasons actually I wanted the uh, F-15E. I am more of a mud mover uh, than I am um, an air-to-air -air, uh, pilot, virtual pilot. Um, <coughs> sorry, I've got a bit of a chest infection at the minute. Um, so I'm, I'm used to, you know, the the the, the the air to ground radar, the mapping, that, that's something that I'm picking up um, and assigning targets that way. So you've got a lot more in depth planning involved with this, sorting out your um, uh, attack profile and, and weapons profiles than you have with, say, the F 14, where you've got the Rio that does everything. There is a Wizzo seat, uh, but you don't have a, a virtual Wizzo. Uh, or weapon systems officer for those that are not familiar with the terminology. So I'm scooting around the Falklands here and um, she's comfortable, you know, I'm just under the speed of sound and uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's happy to be thrown around. One of the things that I do like with this aeroplane, I'll demonstrate it. If I look behind, okay, hold on. Let me get a good view. There we go. Watch the tail. Look at that. See? That's that's brilliant. Pull up, pull up, yeah, pull up, I know, pull up. I know, I know. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Low altitude. Low altitude. That was good fun. Um, while we're looking at that, actually, if you look at the um, the virtual pilot, if I if I pull some G's, watch the trousers. See them inflating? Is that acting like a G suit? You know? Just incredible. Th this is the new pinnacle for an aeroplane on day one, for other manufacturers of uh, aeroplanes to match. This is now the creme de la month, as Del Boy would say, of. Um, aeroplanes for DCS. I can't wait for it to start to get the JDAMs and I believe they're talking about the AGM 130. It's got the Durandal missile already which for me uh, as an XREF chap uh, when I served during the Cold War obviously the Durandal was a was a, a weapon that I'd heard of on, on, on a regular basis a, a, an aircraft a, a runway denial bomb um, and to have it in this, you know, I've had a play with it. it it's just freaking amazing. It really is absolutely awesome. I, I cannot recommend this aeroplane enough to people. If, you, if you're on the fence, get off the fence. Go and, 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 and spend some money on this. It's an investment worth making. Um, I'm just boring you with the internal view. Just look at that. Just stunning. Need to work on the vapor section over the wing there, I think, a little bit as well. But again, but why not? <laughs> there is an Israeli um, model as well where the engines are slightly different. So they have what they call turkey feathers, uh, which cover the actuators. Uh, so on the Americans took them off, perhaps it was a weight saving uh, exercise or if it was a maintenance uh, saving exercise and none of the Israeli aeroplanes have it. So if you select that aircraft you will have turkey feathers, they look cool. Um, look at that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like a little schoolboy because this is like so many dreams come true, getting the F-15 Strike Eagle seen it so many times and and to be able now to fly it been waiting a while for this she's coming out uh, in terms of videos that i'm going to make a lot of people uh have made sort of how-to videos probably not going to make very many of them unless somebody requests it all right i'm uh, doing a liberation campaign or i'm going to start doing a liberation campaign uh, in nevada um, and 
I will probably be doing more uh, weapon release type videos than I will be sort of here's how to lower the ironing gear here's how to whatever so thank you Razban for making such a, an amazing product uh, I look forward to seeing the iterations the tranches that this will come out with as we get more weapons and uh, some fine tuning of systems massive please make the actuator noise much louder like five times louder than what it is because it is incredibly loud and um, that's my only request thanks very much for watching have a fantastic day and uh, here's to uh, seeing you in the skies all the best take care bye bye